the famous experiment by the Russian biologist Dmitry Baleev, who in the 1950s started selecting foxes on the basis of reduced reactive aggression. So here's what he did. He took foxes, slightly black version that uh, occurs in, in Canada. They'd been in Russia for 50 years, breeding without anyone deliberately selecting them. And so what Berliev did was to arrange for people to walk towards the young foxes when they were something like six weeks old. And uh, at the point that the young fox said, ah! <laughs> then they would write down, well, how far was that? And they would breed from the ones who got closest, who, who allowed the human to get closest. And within a few years, in sometimes three years, sometimes five years, sometimes ten years, different features that are found in domesticated animals suddenly appeared. Such as these white patches. Doesn't look much like a fox anymore, does it? It looks like Fido. Floppy ears. You probably remember that there's only one animal in the wild that has floppy ears, or one kind, and that's elephants. Floppy ears are characteristic of our friendliest dogs. So these are examples of features of the domestication syndrome. And what we're seeing here is evidence that you select against reactive aggression, and then, boom, magic, you get these features of the domestication syndrome, which is why goats and horses and cows and cats and dogs all have individuals that have got white patches of fur on them. Floppy ears occur in all of these animals, too. And it means we can now reverse engineer, as it were, and go backwards and say, OK, if you show a self-domestication syndrome, or if you show a domestication syndrome, that means that there was selection against reactive aggression. And fascinatingly, Homo sapiens, that's you and me, or most of us anyway, I think here, has key features of domesticated species as determined by archaeologists. So archaeologists working in the range of, say, five to 10,000 years quite often find an animal, animal bones, and they want to know, was this a domesticated species or was it a wild? version. Was it a, a wolf or was it already a dog by this time? So they look at the bones and they say, well, OK, how do we tell? And here's how they tell. Lighter body, shorter face, smaller teeth, feminization of the skull and skeleton, and uh, brain reduction. And guess what? Homo sapiens shows all of these features in relationship to our earlier ancestors. So why did it happen?